What's up guys? Let me give you some advice, some good, uh, good sound life advice. When you say you're gonna be somewhere at a certain time, you should be there at that time. I am late and uh, I'm late and I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to all of you, I apologize. Anyways, what is going on everyone? I hope you guys are having a great day. If you're not having a great day and things are troubling you, you take that frown and you turn it upside down. That that's that's has that ever actually worked on anybody? If that worked on you, leave in the comment below because uh, yeah. Today is a good day. It's an exciting day. We're going to drive a Porsche GT3. I never thought I'd ever drive a Porsche GT3, so we're gonna go see if I can fit, you know, and then we're gonna go see if I can drive it. And I am late, so I'm gonna set you guys down so I can focus on the road, and we'll talk to you when we get there. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've arrived at the undisclosed location in the Salt Lake Valley. I'm checking them out. We got the Porsche and the Audi A7 here. Now, real quick, he's got a pretty sweet garage. It's a deep bay. I like it. Tons of room. Now, I've never driven a Porsche. I've only ever ridden in two Porsches in my life. Both of them were his, my buddy's Ryan, that we're at his house right now. One was a 1981 Porsche 911 Super Carrera. The other was an 08 987 Cayman. So, I think I got that right. I don't know Porsches that well, I'll be honest. I've always liked them, sure. How do you not like a Porsche? Respect them, never thought I would own one. But I also thought I'd never be having a YouTube channel, so here we are. We gotta explore all options. Let's see if he's home. See if he was waiting for us or if he gave up. Just walk in here. Hey, what's up, bro? You didn't leave, you ready to go? I gotta say, I love your house, bro. It's sick. You just remodeled everything. He used to have a wall here with the kitchen and everything, and and now it's just uh, it's styling. I like what you did. Props to your designer, because I know you didn't design it. So respect to that. We still gonna take the Porsche out. All right. Can I? I gotta use the restroom real quick. Is that cool? All right. Let's do it. This house is sweet. Check it out, guys. Major remodel. Check this out. That's some sweet artwork there. All right. Probably got a, it's probably got a sweet bathroom too. It's always about a nice bathroom. Oh, bro, we got a bidet in the house. What is my boy doing? He's got a bidet? What do you even do with a bidet? I was in Dubai, we had a bidet obviously, but we're in America and I, I didn't know Americans put in bidets. I don't even know, I, I don't even know how to do that. I don't have to go anymore. Let's move on. All right, man, I'm gonna be honest, that bidet, Lost, I don't even know what to do, so I'm good. Let's bounce out. All right, everyone, officially, this is my buddy, Ryan. I've known him going back uh, 10 years. It's been a decade. 10 years. A decade of fun with Nick. You know, dec uh, we'll take it, we'll take it. So this is his garage, it's pretty sweet. Dude, check it out, those dumbbells. This is where I need to come work out. I don't know why you're not working out here, broker. That's a classic 25 pounder right there. Just old school, rough and tough, nothing fancy. Then I go ride 30 miles on that bicycle. Who needs a modern 10 speed? You know, we put some weights on the basket right here. Now that's a workout. All right, all right, back to business, back to business. He had a couple of other Porsches that I've already mentioned. Now he's got the Audi A7. He's had a ton of cars. We're not gonna go into it right now, but also I bought an X5 because he had one. So I kind of copied him there. Should I copy him on the GT3? I don't know, what do you think? That's the question. Nice, and what's the official paint code? White. White? <laughs> white. <laughs> Probably Carrera white, I'm not exactly sure. We'd have to get the real experts in on that one. Well, it's not Audi white. We got the Audi white right there, so this is definitely Porsche white. I'm hoping that you're gonna have some music dubbed in here. No. So we got the calipers, those are pretty sick. I believe the owner before me painted those. That's not stock. Not stock. All right, Nick, here's the first Porsche you're ever gonna drive. Dude, pretty sweet. I gotta say, if you're gonna start with any Porsche, the GT3 is not a bad one to start out with. All right, let's get a cold startup, baby. He's clearly rectified the gutter problem with some steel plates. It's well done, well done. Woo! Man! All right, first thing, seat back all the way. This is kind of the moment of truth right here, Nick. All right. Yeah, you're okay. Cozy. Are you cozy? cozy? 
Seat warmers on for you. Oh, now like that's them. that's how it's done. Service. I mean, I'm wearing shorts, but it is like 30 degrees outside. It is January winter in Utah. So you're, you're an athlete, so you're allowed to wear basketball shorts in the middle of winter. If you're not right. an athlete, you're not allowed to do that. That's, I was an athlete, so yeah. And actually, what's crazy too is when you think about it, the visibility in the car as a whole is, is, is solid. You can see everywhere. It's fantastic. You can really enjoy that wing, that massive wing. <laughs> Now, not good for the that, rear view, but it's beautiful to look at. So you were saying this car is basically stock except for a couple things. Mainly the most fascinating thing was, was it the clutch or the, yes. the transmission? You yeah, were saying? so this is GT3, but it does have the RS clutch and flywheel. So it revs quite a bit quicker than a stock GT3, which you'll see here very soon. Quickly, yeah. You weren't ready for that on this little back I'm, road. No, I, I wasn't. Don't Anytime I get thrown around yeah. a little bit, I'm impressed because you are a big guy. I'm a big guy. I, I, I've told I, I weigh 265. I'm a I'm a bit heavy. We're working on that. They know it, so he knows it too. He's he's uh yeah. It's just a nice Saturday afternoon. It's a beautiful Saturday afternoon in Utah. I mean, it's cloudy. It's overcast. You can't see the sky. But the mountains, they're looking good. There's not another better thing we should be doing on a day like today. Driving a car. Driving a car. Yeah, I, he just mentioned how much headroom I have, and I was sitting here just thinking about how much room comparatively there is in the in this car. It's it really so is. small. When I stand next to it, it just feels so tiny. And you whenever even, I've seen them, I think that's why I've never really considered even even considered a Porsche because they're so small. They're just small cars. I look at them, I'm like, you're just a nitty bitty car. Why would I? He used to be a race car driver when he was a, a younger man in his teenage days. The little, the little cars. Uh, yeah. It's fast, it's smooth. It's got some purring action, it's got some noise, but it won't beat you up unless you want it to beat you up. That's right. It's just, it tastes really good right now. It's got a flavor about it. It's just, I, I don't know what flavor yet, but it's got a flavor. It's definitely like a German candy flavor, doesn't it? It just tastes great. Yeah, except I don't like German candy. I like, I like German, German cars, cars though, but I don't like German candy. Nothing against German candy. I actually don't know German candy. I just like I don't Gummies, like I don't right? like candy. I just don't like candy. Well, you're a fitness guy. You can't I'll tell you candy. what I do like. You're on a strict diet, man. I am on a strict diet. I do like German pancakes. If you've ever had one of those, I have. Yeah, those are fantastic. Those are good. He just told me to breathe the breathe the throttle a little bit. Breathe you know, the throttle. Make sure you come off bit. the throttle, but it's his first time. I'm no expert or anything, but I picked up a thing or two taking it on the track a time or two which you need to try sometime but breathing the throttle if you guys know what that means and have heard that and use that term respect to you but uh I, and i might maybe, have just made it up maybe i shouldn't admit it but i i i he said that to me and i'm just like yeah yeah sure i'll breathe that throttle i just heard the clutch replacements like six grand so yeah. i don't know the aventador is 60 grand so oh you're ahead of that one <laughs> this is utah everybody love it it's gorgeous, snow in the mountains, roads are clear. Just a nice winter day. All right, it's my turn. He's officially on record letting me drive it. As long as I breathe, breathe the... Just don't blow it up, basically, that's it. But you'll be fine. You've driven throughout foreign countries and supercars. You can handle this in the state of Utah. It's amazing how it happens one time and all of a sudden, yeah. You're famous <laughs> now. It's just something like that. Red dot, red dot, we're good. All right, we're my first time. All right, so I was gonna do a video, can 66 fit in a Porsche GT3 and all that jazz, but you guys were all so confident that I would fit. There were tons of comments about me being able to fit. So I'm trusting you guys, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna fit. So we're gonna skip all that drama. We're just gonna get in and we're gonna drive it. So let's go. It's still low though, it's still. I'm gonna be honest. I'm in. 
Now, now the uh, the seat, uh, the side bolsters, they're a bit skinny. You know, I, they need to be girthier, but but. Uh, let's go. So the room here is uh, it's it's pretty good. I'll be honest. Turning, we'll see. We'll see how comfortable it is. But uh, all in all, I I fit. I fit. Let's see how drivable I am in here. That doesn't even make any sense, but you look like you know what you're doing. Oh yeah, that's the key. Number one key, guys. If anyone gives you the keys ever to anything, to ever any vehicle ever, look like you know what you're doing. That's all that matters. Even when you drive it into a wall, make it look like you knew what you were doing. And we're off. How does it feel? Smooth, just smooth and gentle. You know, we'll get through the gutter here. Last thing I need to do is bottom you out. That doesn't look very Should good I there. Go to the other one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's. We're, we're, we're gonna get high centered. Yeah. Got a backup camera? No backup camera? <laughs> no backup cam. Uh, that sounds normal, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. Kill him, bro. So, when are we gonna announce the verdict, Nick, if you actually fit or not? Does this classify as fit, or do you have to complete the drive? You gotta complete the drive because you gotta think about like, technically I fit, for sure, can't argue that. But can I fit to the point where I can own it and drive it safely? Yes. Without my big knees getting in the way, my big feet just, yeah. you know, blocking the brake while I'm shifting and I can't stop and then, then we're in a wall. You keep these bringing walls, up the these wall. walls keep I, popping all up all over the place. I don't know if we've seen one wall. I see snow banks. I've never driven into a wall, just so everyone's clear. Yet. Can this? He hasn't yet. Did I put us in a predicament here? Uh, yeah. No, you'll be okay. Just take it slow. If I go into it, the oncoming traffic it, lane, we'll be fine. Yeah. Now that wing, you were right. That wing takes up... The visibility is great in this car, but that one yeah. does take up. Uh, There's nothing to see in the rear. All right, we got an on-ramp. We've got an on-ramp, but we've got we've got traffic. Got to slow play it. Yeah, to slow play it. There we go. Look at that. Oh! oh! We missed the gear. I missed the gear. <laughs> Either. Oh. That was a fail. I told you, you've got to be very deliberate with that upshift. It's not an easy upshift. It really isn't. It's embar I'm embarrassed, guys. I may. I, we just probably cut that out. You know what's even great is I'm going to do a nice slide into the on ramp. <laughs> there we go. Tricky, isn't it? But I yeah. like it because really, it just you just let that clutch out and then you yeah. engage. You don't uh, used. What's the sticker price on a used GT3? I I think you can get into one of these right now for 125, 130. I could get two of James's R8s for one of these though. Yeah, uh, that's true. But you can only drive one car at the same time. It's like you know, don't be greedy, Nick. Yeah, but it's like sneakers. If you like a pair of sneakers, you buy two pair of that sneaker because it will last twice as long. True. You buy one pair, you get one scuff, you scuff your sneakers, it's gone. You don't got well, no more sneakers. So what so Porsche well. do you get for like 60 grand? There's a lot of Porsches. That's the thing. Like the 911, there's a 911 for everybody. What do you guys want to see with this car? Leave in the comment below. What, what, what do you want to see? Do you want to, I mean, aside from some crazy mods because it's not my car, and we'll see if we can do them. The only one we're not accepting is Nick putting it into a wall. This proverbial yeah. wall that's I, been mentioned. The proverbial wall. Yes. I like it. We try to use one big word per video on that's this right. channel. And that's the word <laughs> of the day right there. <laughs> proverbial. Do you ever pick people up in your videos? No, here's the deal. I, I, um, I learned a while ago that I should not pull over and ask people for directions or try to give people rides because I've done that a few times randomly. I've, you know, I were in a huge windstorm one time. This poor guy was walking down the street, literally, true story. And I felt bad and I pulled over. I said, hey man, do you, can I give you a ride anywhere? He looked at me 
scared to death, shook his head no, and walked quickly away. And I was just like, I realized, like, I just freaked him out. You know, like, some guy alone in his car, offering rides? You can't do that. That's happened to me multiple times. I'm just trying to help out, but I think people don't want to be apparently, out. like... You're an intimidating looking character. I, for mean, us. I, I don't feel it, but no. uh, yeah, I've scared the heck out of a few people and not even realized it. <laughs> See, here's one thing. This baby's carving. Oh, man. The curves. She's planted. She's just planted. Woo! That was a fun ride. I'm not going to pull her into the driveway because as you guys saw, it was a bit uh, a bit tight and I want, I want no responsibility. None. None. Yeah. You're going to take her in? All you, baby. Moment of silence. Excellent driving. Clear, clean. There she is, guy. GT3. Now, I'm going to be honest, 120 does sound a bit, uh, it's probably out of my price range right now. Maybe one day, I don't know. But. But it was a Porsche. It was my first drive. It was my first time driving a Porsche. Loved it. Sounds good. Without a doubt. It's music, baby. It's music. All right. Thanks to my buddy Ryan. Thanks for the drive. We're definitely gonna have to feature this car again on the channel. Again, if you guys have any thoughts of what you want to do with it. Let me know. We should definitely take it on the mountain. Uh, mountain and then the track. The mountain. He says mountain. I say mountain. I'm from Utah. Uh, I'm not ashamed. We don't say our T's here in Utah if you picked <laughs> up on that. So let's go from there. Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're killing it. Be strong. Stay solid. Eat healthy. That's, that's for me. Peace.